Jerry Murata talks about his best time with Peter Gabriel, the Security album, and his own security project. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Jerry Murata has always been one of my favorite drummers, and I've been wanting to talk to him for a long time. We had fun talking about all his other projects, but we basically talked about Hall & Oates, Orleans, and his days with Peter Gabriel. So a lot of these clips are about Peter Gabriel, even though he's done a lot more, of course. The Security Project, tell me, when did that start for you? You know, I don't know when it was. Was it maybe five or six years ago, seven years ago? But I, somebody had this idea. Um, there was a guy who was involved in a band called The Waiting Room. And it was a Peter Gabriel tribute band. And they came and played here in Woodstock. And this guy invited me to go see the, them play. And uh, Josh Gleason, the lead singer, you know, he was wearing the, the monkey. Uh, right. He was wearing the monkey makeup yeah. and wearing like a white outfit. You know, he was doing a Peter thing. And this guy had this idea that to get Larry and Tony and Jerry together and, and, and back him up. Well, nobody was interested in doing that, um, including me. I didn't really want to do it. Eventually, every so often, he'd, keep, he'd try, you know, he'd reach out again to see if I you know, had any thoughts about it. So then the one, t one time they said, well, listen, we've been talking to Trey Gunn, and he said if you're – if you're interested in doing it, he'd be interested in doing it. And that changed my mind. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I had no interest in, in playing the music. I don't, I know, don't listen to it. You know, it's like I did it, but I have no burning desire to play that music. Um, not then. Now, now I have it more because, you know, once I got into learning the, the music and playing it again, it was like, it was really inspiring. And we, so we had Trey Gunn, who I don't know if you know who Trey is, but, yeah. you know, Trey, he's incredible. And um, and what did we have? Dave, uh, we, David Jamison's keyboard player, like, you know, not unknown, didn't really ever play with anybody, worked for PhD, worked for IBM, you know, genius computer guy, and also happened to be a very good keyboard player. Um, and then we had Josh Gleason, that guy we he 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 was the singer he became a singer and my friend fosby morris guitar player lives in la he was the original guitar player in that band and we did that i don't know if that was it for a year a year a year and a half um we didn't really play that much um and then josh had to leave he has a family young kids he has a job a good job Josh could only maybe do 10 shows a year and that's just not was not going to be enough so and then Fuzby left and we got David uh, Michael Kotze who's a friend of Trey's lives in uh, Seattle and and he was he just worked out perfectly I mean he he's from Wales so in, lived in London you know that the, he has that sensibility the British sensibility awesome, awesome musician awesome guy and then we found another singer, a, a guy, an English guy named Brian Cummins. You know, guy sounds like Peter. I mean, I mean, he even like he sounds like Peter back when Peter, you know, had his full. You know, I don't know how he sings now, but Brian was awesome. So we had Brian in the band, and we did some touring with Brian. And we, you know, he had a band called Carpet Crawlers. They were doing Genesis material, yeah. and he he knew all of Gabriel stuff. So um, Brian lasted I don't know a, a year or two, uh, and then and, but it was clear that he was not going to be the long term guy. And uh, and then we did a show here in Woodstock at a theater, and Happy Rhodes and her husband showed up, and they're what I have worked with had known were Happy and have worked with her. Trey has worked with her, and Trey had a band with her husband who plays tablas and drums and stuff. So, so, but Trey and I like looked at each other and we were just like, it was like a spontaneous, how about happy, you know? And I was thinking this tribute thing wasn't bothering me, but I, you know, we're not really a tribute band. And I thought, well, I had been thinking we should find a female singer, you know, cause the other two guys sounded just like Peter, 
you know. I thought, we should find a female singer who's not going to sound anything like Peter. Yeah. And so we got Happy in the band, and and Happy's just been amazing. I mean, she is, she like, no, it doesn't sing anything like Peter, does her thing. She has a four octave range, you know. She's not like a screamer, not a rock singer, you know what I mean? She's more like Kate Bush kind of voice. And that's been awesome. Except that Happy, she doesn't really want to go out and do much. She, you know, they live on a farm near Cooperstown. Her her husband, Bob, has a company called Dangerous Music. They make audio gear. Mm -hmm. And she, she's soldering. You know, she, <laughs> she, she's, she, they, you know, it's a very successful business, but She's she's one of the one of the workers and she takes care of her husband. She's like, yeah. She, when we're on the road, she's like, you know, I have to make dinners. I have to like prepare dinners for Bob, like while I'm away, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There's so, and you know, it, it, the he just he just he, it got it, it was clear. He he needs her. Yeah. You know, he really needs her to be there. Oh, but so, let, me, let me interrupt you. But the thing is, I, I, I'm kind of curious. You say, and, and it's not uncommon, that you'll do the record and you leave it alone and you move on. But were, were there parts where you went back and listened to what you were doing with Peter in the security project? Isn't there, You must have thought, hey, that's pretty good <laughs> from your own stuff. You know, you know what? I thought as much as I thought, hey, that's pretty good, I thought. Oh, what was I doing? You really? Know? Uh, what the hell was I doing there? Like what? Uh, like what, for instance? Well, I would say Wallflower is one real good example. If you listen to it, it's really got these like, like these like static, Tom Phil hits, and the, you know what I mean? It's it it's funny. It and that see Peter, I'm sure, but Peter at the time he didn't want to hear drums like traditional drumming. You know, he wanted. He wanted it to sound to go beyond traditional drumming, yeah. and which is smart, very smart. Um, like you know, rhythm of the heat, family in the fishing net, um, uh, San Jacinto, Wallflower. Those are all songs that are on that record. You know, boom, boom. yeah, boom, boom, yeah, boom, boom, Blah, boom, boom. You know. And, and, and that do 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 that synth thing. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah. Looking out at Dana, I see the lamp. Do, do. I mean, that's not like this, you know. But man, did I fucking buy into that approach, hook, line, and sinker. I mean, you know, Peter and I are we both melded. You know, yeah. he never he never sat down and said, play this. Because he can't do that, you know. But it was more like a process of elimination, you know. Yeah. Like, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, but that, like you were saying, that do doom. I found that hypnotic. I found that I, I remember going. Uh, one of my feet. I stopped in my tracks for that. Did you come up with that? I I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I just it could have been. I mean, I don't. I don't. I really don't know. Yeah. Uh, you mean come up with boom, boom. yeah boom, boom. no I don't know anybody could have come up anybody could have come up with that but uh, that's not genius drumming that's but it was what's genius is the simplicity of it yes like, not like don't add much to it and then it builds up to that frenzy you know um, you know the rhythm is my soul yeah the, the, the Six against three, six, four, whatever it is. I don't even know. Um, and all the African, you know, a, a drumming kind of kicks in at the end. Jerry is trying to save Dreamland Studios right now. If you want to make a donation, go fund me. Links in the description of this video. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. <laughs>